you can easily use chat GPT to generate features for your data science project. So here what I did is I just went to the super famous house price regression technique Kaggle competition. Go to your data and uh, there's uh, so many CSV files here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to download these train.csv and copy this entire uh, table uh, and paste it into ChatGPT. So now here is the train.csv. You can see that there are so many features in this. Uh, so I think, uh, yeah, there are even more features. Yeah, total 81 columns of features. And this is my downloaded train.csv. As you can see, the entire CSV file is being uh, is being shown here rendered here and what i'm going to do just copy uh, the first uh, few cells maybe uh, i mean the first few rows and the, all the columns because the columns are where all my uh, headings are there in a text so just copy this and now go to my chat gpt and just uh, put something like this text this is my prompt generate some suggestion for new features for a machine learning project based on the below house price training data set and then just paste my data paste that's all and uh, yeah the here the data is looks like jumbled up and that's because that was a csv file and here it's not showing the tabular form but that's okay chat gpt will understand it and then just hit and let it uh, let it work its magic and while the chat gpt is working just quickly take a look at the uh, column names over here so these are the features in this train.csv i'm looking directly in the kaggle's official page of this competition so i have lot, lot, lot shape then alley utilities uh, and what are, what are the other things let me go for the right then i have ma zoning lot fontage lot area etc so these are all the features that will affect the house price of a particular area and i have asked ChatGPT to create more features uh, to based on these already given features all right so chat gpt is done has done its work and uh, here is the reply sure here are some suggestion for new features for the house price training data set total square footage these features could be created by summing the square footage of all living areas in the house including basement and attic spaces this could give this could be a good predictor of a overall value of the house age of the house this feature could be calculated by the as a difference between the current year and the year of the house was built newer houses might be more expensive while older houses might be less expensive or require more maintenance Next one is number of bathrooms, uh, then number of bedrooms, proximity to amenities, neighborhood income. Let's see how it's calculating. This feature could be created by using data on the median income of the residents in the neighborhood. This might be a good predictor of house price. Uh, then energy efficiency. The feature could be created by using data on the age and type of the heating and cooling system in the house as well as the insulation and windows houses that are more energy efficient might be more expensive see these are quite uh, innovative and quite new thinking from chat gpt and these will actually give you uh, many more features to work on the project then i have lot shape uh, presence of garage the feature could be created by determining whether the house has a garage or not uh, yeah so that's how uh, you can do and this was a very simple example of uh, of house price uh, project so uh, in this way you can actually give any csv data and ask chat gpt to create more features for you awesome isn't it